Hey everybody, my name is Ryan. Today in this video, I'll be telling you guys how to do part two of the Easter egg for Mob of the Dead. Now this is called Pop Goes the Weasel and it's worth 25 gamer score. Now the first part of the Easter egg and everything you guys will need to do up to this is you guys need to build the plane and fly to the Golden Gate Bridge three times. And then after you guys have done that, this is where you guys will start. So the first part of this second part of the Easter egg is you guys will actually need to come to this part next to the warden's office and tomahawk the hole in the wall. There will be a poster covering it, but you guys will need to throw a tomahawk at it so it will expose the hole. Then you guys want to have someone go into afterlife and go through the portal right here. Now you guys can see on the right side that there is uh, the hole in the wall that I was talking about with the poster and you knocked the poster off with your tomahawk. And to the right of this little body grave thing right here will be a spoon. And you guys want to shock it until you guys hear laughter. Then once you guys have done that, you guys want to go into step two of this Easter egg. The next step of this Easter egg involves getting a second spork which will be in the cafeteria room. Now this is on the other side of the map guys and you guys should basically know where this is already but all you guys want to do is come to this window and just throw a uh, flaming tomahawk at it until you guys hear uh, one of the characters say okay got it now for some reason even after he says that the spoon will stay there but once you guys have thrown it and you get the quote then you guys will know that you guys have gotten the fork or it will actually continue on with the easter egg but until you guys get that quote you guys will need to keep throwing it at it until you guys get the quote the next step of this easter egg involves grabbing five skulls with the flaming tomahawk. Now the first one is here in the spawn in this toilet. So basically just throw a flaming tomahawk at the toilet and you guys will get a blue skull. Now um, once you guys have done that, go into the warden's office and uh, you guys will want to look through this window. And this one's a little bit more hard to get to. But um, right on this power line, you guys will see a little bit of a blue skull right there. And you just want to kind of aim your tomahawk a little bit up. Uh, above the target so you guys will actually it'll drop and it'll grab right onto it it is kind of hard to get this one guys but you guys can get it after like your third or fourth try just keep on trying and keep on moving up a tiny bit until you guys grab it so after you guys have got that one go down to the docks and the, the third one guys is on this third pillar so um it's third so it's basically the middle pillar so you guys just want to throw a tomahawk in the middle of the ropes right there and you guys will get the third one uh, the fourth one is right next to Juggernog. This one's a little hard to get to as well. Um, you guys basically need to come into this corner. Uh, well, just a minute. But like right in this corner and jump and throw your tomahawk right at the light. And if you guys jump and, uh, yeah, like right there you guys saw I grabbed it. But you guys will need to jump uh, to get kind of a little bit of a better, uh, a better view of it or get your tomahawk closer to it as well. Um, but if you guys don't jump, you guys will probably grab it, but um, it's just a little bit harder to do. Okay, so just jump and uh, you guys will basically get it every time. And then the final one, guys, is up next to the plane and simply come over to this part where there's no uh, piece of metal and simply throw it at the edge of the wall and you guys will grab the fifth and final skull. Alright guys, so once you guys have completed that step of grabbing the skulls and you guys have completed everything else up to this, you guys want to go into the warden's office and on the table there's some, uh, some fire should spawn and a blunder gap will spawn out of the table. Only one person could take the blunder gap but still, um, it's kind of a little bit of a reward for you guys' hard work. Alright everybody, so once you guys have done every one of the steps leading up to this, you guys will need to then come into the spiral room. Now there is also a part of the plane which is uh, right in this room as well. So you guys will basically know where this is already. But you also need to enter uh, four numbers with using afterlife into this uh, fuse box right here. And it's very, very hard because the numbers keep uh, cycling. And uh, there are four numbers, guys, like I said, so you guys will probably need at least one or even two uh, afterlifes to do this. But the numbers are 872 101 386 and then 481 so you guys will need to enter that in the order and each time if you guys get them correct then they will reset uh, just kind of into a random number code and you also need to enter the numbers so right here I'm entering the third number which is 386 and you guys will see that once they do that it will reset into just a random number and then uh, my friend actually dies here well he doesn't die but we get revive him because he's about to die because uh, afterlife does not uh, last that long so you guys will probably need at least two um, afterlifes to actually do this you guys can do it in one but it will be very very uh, very very tight or close as when you guys will actually like die from doing this so basically guys, just enter the numbers like I said the first number is 872 the first one is 101 the third number is 386 and the fourth one and final one is 481 so as you guys see here once I get 481 the numbers will uh, beep they'll generate randomly and then they'll turn off and that indicates you guys have done it and then uh, an audio Easter egg will pop up and I'm gonna actually upload a separate video on that guys because it's just way too long to upload in this video Alright everybody, now the last part of this easter egg involves having one person go down in afterlife mode at this afterlife uh, power voltage meter right here next to the plane and you guys will need to have him go on top of the plane. So he just wants to go into afterlife and he wants to jump on top of the plane from afterlife and what this will do is it will lock him in and as soon as the plane uh, starts its uh, sequence of leaving then everyone else will be put into afterlife mode and it will be teleported on top of the plane. Now you guys also have everyone go down at the same time 
uh, and time it right, but um, usually people don't all have an afterlife, so that uh, it really doesn't work like that, guys. So at least one person will need to go into afterlife, get on top of the plane so it's locked in, and as soon as the sequence starts, then uh, you guys will all be put on top of the plane, you guys will all teleport. Now, cool thing about this Easter egg is that these people have actually been dead the whole time. The audio quotes that I'll be uploading in a separate video, probably right after this video, will be uh, explaining that, guys. But as basically, guys, as soon as you guys uh, land, uh, once the plane crashes, you guys want to revive yourself uh, from the electric chairs, and you guys want to kill the weasel. Now, the, whoever is the weasel can actually kill you guys, but you guys will basically just want to keep on shooting the weasel until he dies. And if you guys actually kill him, it'll say the cycle continues, and you guys will get the achievement. And if you guys get killed by him, it'll say the cycle is broken, but you guys will still get the achievement, guys. So don't worry about that. As soon as you guys get killed or kill the weasel, you guys will get the achievement. So basically, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to click the like button and leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are a new viewer, make sure to click that subscribe button as well so you guys never miss a video. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, my name is Ryan. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.